Joining us now to talk about this, Providence Catholic High School counsel, college counselor Frank Palmasani, who has been helping families find affordable college options for 30 years. He's been with us before. Frank, good to talk to you again. Hi, Frank. Hello, Larry Robin. Yes. My pleasure. So as someone who talks about uh, student loans all the time, what's your reaction to this, the impact it'll have on, you know, not everyone gets their, their loans forgiven and the impact on inflation and whatever else? Well, obviously, it, you know, the, the policy uh, uh, watchers will view the inflation component, but in relationship to actually helping people who are out there encumbered by this uh, this large debt commitment they have, it certainly is going to be a help to, and I think the estimates are up to 40 million uh, borrowers. One of the components that really is critical is this extra $10,000 for Pell Grant recipients. So if you understand the Pell Grant, you, know, you recognize that families who are able to obtain the Pell Grant really have no resources, very low incomes, very few, if any, assets. And so that particular family, that student had little, little options other than excessive borrowing. And so if they're encumbered with large borrowing and they're not a high earning person themselves, having that forgiveness is going to be critical for them going forward. Sure. But why has the, co the tuition cost far outpaced inflation? Is it because money has been so readily available that it's causing inflation in the tuition world? You know, I think that's a really an interesting question, uh, Larry. I think to really understand and, and to understand the justification of doing something like this, you really need a 30-year history lesson, we all do, on the financial aid program. You know, years ago, most of the costs of institutions were covered by the resources that, that needy families could get in support from whether it be our state in Illinois or the federal government. Over time, with the cost of institutions rising, the, the preponderance of resources that were available to help were skewed then to loans. Instead of grant money, it became loan money. And so the question, you, you ask a, a serious question, that is, did that reinforce institutions charging more? You know, to me, I would go back to the college experts, the university presidents to kind of take a look at that and try to assess if that was a variable, if that was a factor. I think, if, to be honest with you, I think the economists would say it really had more to do with supply and demand. More people wanted to engage in college and therefore that the pricing went up as we've seen with supply and demand issues for all kinds of commodities. Well, we're almost out of time, Frank. So quickly, let's talk about people that have seniors. I'm sure they have to start. Um, the, hopefully they've taken tests already. Are the test scores still important? And also give us a couple of ideas of bargain schools compared to the expensive schools. Sure, absolutely. So uh, we do have a link out there that I think you're going to post uh, of an hour video that is really helpful to all parents as you approach this process, right? Because ultimately, we don't know what's going to happen with student loans in the future. So you don't want to borrow excessive amounts of money from the student standpoint, from the parent standpoint. So there's skills that you can learn to really reduce that opportunity. So when you talk about bargain options, what you're really trying to do, Robin, is to match your affordability with your actual net price, your out-of-pocket cost at the, for the eventual schools you choose, try to find these financial fits that exist out there. Relative to the, to the testing question, I think post-pandemic, we're still living in a world of test optional, where in some situations, at some schools, students will send their test in when they determine that it's going to be to their advantage. So what we want to encourage families to do is to check with the individual institutions, find out if the test score is needed, not only for admission, but for scholarship, because it could be needed on the scholarship side and not be needed on the admission side. All right, Frank, thanks so much for joining us. You can find Frank on Twitter at College Fit Frank. He's offering a financial aid workshop tonight at glenbargps.org. Thanks, Frank. My pleasure. Check of the weather now, Paul. Hi there. Uh, we've got some rain across Chicagoland here.